GTR, WRX, Boss 302, 370Z, Toyota Sura with a 1JZ turbo, Toyota Sura with a 1JZ twin turbo, 1JZ, 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 and it goes all the way down with right-hand drive JDM cars. I am in Orlando, Florida, and I stumbled upon this dealership by accident, and I am pumped to show you their inventory. Not a paid partnership. I am so excited to just pull into this place to go look at a car and find out that they have so many of my dream cars, and you guys get to experience them with me. I just wasn't expecting this, which is what makes this video so much cooler. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I'm in Orlando, Florida. And you guys get to check out this super cool inventory and hopefully buy something for our Ferrari Flip Series. Let's get going. Hey, so we needed a break from Meekum Auctions because it's a hundred grand. You gotta pay to play if you wanna buy something. So we took a ride up the road because my father wanted a lime green, mint green Boss 302. So we took a ride up to Mint Auto Sales up the street to take a break from the auction for a little bit. This is what they have. So my father wanted to look at it, but while we're here, we had no idea what we were coming to. So like, I'll give Mint Auto Sales a shout out absolutely in Orlando, Florida. SCIs, WRXs, GTRs, but not just that. When I pulled in, right-hand drive 98, Prelude that was just imported from Japan. So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, that car for sale? I let you know I have 94 Prelude SI that I love. And he goes, oh yeah, we have a whole bunch. We import everything from Japan. Toyota Sora, 1JZ, VVTI single turbo. Toyota Sora, twin turbo, 1JZ, 1JZ. Now we have the Lexus LS400, but the Toyota version. And they just keep, is this a Cressida? They just keep going. These guys are loaded up. We have a 95, Prelude SI right hand drive in a five speed transmission WRX. We have another Sora right here. Is this an automatic? Automatic. I might buy a car today. It might not even be at Meekum. I am all jacked up here. So it just keeps going. Again, everything has a Toyota emblem on it, which would be a Lexus in the States. GTR here. And then what's really cool is these Mitsubishi. So this is a Mitsubishi turbo diesel two door SUV in a manual transmission. You have the GTR there. We have a couple Land Cruisers, one in manual, one in automatic. And then we have the TRD Corolla. Is that a Corolla? One of a Hellcat over there. Here's the Prelude that I pulled into. So here's my rental car. I pulled in with my rental car. This car was just sitting here and caught my eye and it happened to be the owner pulling this car and he's waiting on title so he can't sell it. And then just for honorable mention, check out this Lincoln pickup. This is actually an F-150 with the Lincoln front end. You can see all the switches in there, so it must be on air ride. I don't know if you can see the switches in there. Can you see those? These guys have a really cool inventory and they were super professional. I mean, I own a small car dealership, nothing like this. These guys were way better on the phone than I was. And the introduction to me was also way better than I am, so. Again, congrats to you guys. You guys were awesome. I would love to take home a GTR. Is an RC500 Lexus? So this is the owner's LS500, LS, LC500. Yeah. LC500 here. With artisan spirit kit from Japan. Oh, wow. Body kit. What's under here? Show him. Oh, I have the same car. I have the same front end too, straight from Japan. So it's a 96 Sylvia, 97 Sylvia. Oh, 96 would have Zenki front end, doesn't it? Same, 96, 97, they both have. But my car looks identical to this, except mine's not right-hand drive. White body, yeah. but very elegant white body. Wow, I was not expecting this. <laughs> so SR20? SR20. SR20 DET, two liter turbo in a five-speed transmission. This is awesome. Mine's been stored in a trailer for years. I haven't even seen mine in a while. Same Sylvia emblem on the hood too. Wow, that's really cool. And then you guys mentioned this one. That one just came in 30,000 miles, which is 48,000 kilometers. This car came in brand new. Look at it, inside out. You would not believe a BMW like this. It's a 97 525. Wow, I'm fascinated by this. I have the same one that's been in a storage yeah, for my years. Son, my son is keeping this. Oh, is he, it? He, he won't sell it? He's got this one in a 96 Supra white body. I got it for him. So. Wow, that's really cool. So someone else that can do it better than myself. Can I ask your name? Imran. Imran. From Mint Auto Sales. Knows these cars far better than I could. So I'm just gonna ask him if you could just go right down the row. Sure. So we have this one is a 96 Toyota Prado with a 3.0 turbo diesel, which is called 1KZTE engine. 
and that's a manual shift five-speed Land Cruiser Prado. Same exact thing that we have. This one here is a 3.0, same engine, and it's an automatic. Number three is a Mitsubishi. It's not an Evolution, but it has the same Evolution Mitsubishi. It's a two liter? Huh? Is it two liter then? Two it's liter a turbo? 3.5. 3.5. No, 3.5 gasoline. And uh, it looks like uh, an Evolution, but this is not an Evolution, but it has the same motor. Okay. This one is the same exact year, 97 Mitsubishi Pajero. The reason it looks different because it has an intercooler turbo, which is a 2.8 turbo diesel, and it's a manual shift. Then you come over here, there we have a 97 Toyota uh, Honda CRV, which is a B20 engine, which is a North American engine also, uh, compatible with everything, parts outside, inside engine parts, and uh, it's an all wheel drive. Then you have a beautiful 98, legacy boxer twin turbo and it has 40,000 miles twin on it. turbo from the factory twin turbo boxer yes wow yeah then we have a nissan stagia which and it has a rb25 <clears throat> de non-turbo non -turbo. engine then we have this legendary 97 toyota aristo which is a birth car of toyota supra these cars started with the 2jz gte engine then it ended up with in supra later on so does so it this have the 2JZ in it? It's a 2JZ twin turbo, Supra motor. Automatic or standard? Uh, Automatic. Okay. They never came in, in manual. They never, no. yeah. But a lot of people do manual swaps. Mm -hmm. This is also the same exact car and they, both are Vertex Edition. The Vertex Edition has like curtains, power curtain in the back and uh, it has a different wood grain in it, you know. So this is a 2JZ but NA, which is a non-turbo. Non-turbo. Then we have this a 97 late production Toyota Seltzer, which is a North American LS400 LS engine. So is this the... But uh, this is a new shape like North American 98 till 2000. Same exact thing. Very low mileage, 70,000 kilometers on it. Then we have a 93 Chaser, which is a Tourer S, and it's a 1JZ non-turbo. Along with it, we have a Toyota Sorer 94 1JZ twin turbo automatic with sunroof black and black interior. Then we have another legendary car, which is a Toyota Chaser, very popular nowadays in North America. And it's made it with VVTi 1JZ GTE single turbo. Toro V, they call it Toro V, becomes turbo car. Same exact car is here, which is in a silver color, but it's a 1JZ non-turbo. The price difference is enormous between those because that one is turbo. So this is, let's say this is a 13,000. This is a $23,000. Right. Then we have a Honda Pollute 95 manual shift 2.0. SI. SI. Then we have this uh, Hispanic special. They uh, they always love those cars and uh, it's a manual shift Toyota Corolla 1995 wagon. Then we have a Toyota Mach 2, which is the same chassis from JZX 100, those Toyota Chaser, same exact thing, but it's a different body style. Same exact car with an all-wheel drive, one JZ non-turbo. Then we have a Toyota Crown, which is a high-end car. This would be the Toyota. Cressida, right? No, no, higher than that. Higher than the Cressida. It's like a Lexus LS400 is the top of the line of yeah. Lexus production. This Crown is the top of the line of Toyota okay. back then. But this is a 2.4 turbo diesel. They do come in diesel, gasoline, 2.5, 3.0 variety of engines. Then this is also a 97 Toyota Seltzer, which is like an LS400. This is early 97, so that one is old shape, but with leather and a sunroof. This is a, also a Toyota Mark II, but it's also a Tourer V because it's a twin turbo. And it has the same, this car and the Sora shares the same engine. So twin turbo, in, one JZ right one here. One JZ twin turbo, yeah, that's correct, yes. In manual transmission or auto? Auto. This one, has the same motor as this but this is a toyota solar which is lsc 300 of north america it's an automatic and it's a 95 model, automatic so twin turbo here twin turbo automatic uh 1jz gte and then we get to a year newer 97 VVTi, 97 97 they come out with vvti single, single turbo, turbo on a and 1JZ. It's a manual factory manual and manual transmission with a nice body kit wow that's if really you go cool. around in the back here I can hear my father in the background with the Boss 302. This is all one piece. Wow! They blended it? Yep. 
Wow, that's really, really cool. And you said that this isn't even your full inventory. You have a whole bunch of these waiting for I titles. Have 45 and more cars which are not titled. Wow. 45. I would say this is the mecca for imports if anyone's ever looking. Well, in the state of Florida, there are a lot of people who are importing cars, but they import mostly GTRs, you know, Supra, right. yeah. very limited cars, RX-7s. I bring cheaper cars too, you know, and this way everyone can afford it. Yeah. And the variety, four-door, two-door, SUVs, and now I just started the wagons. Mm -hmm. I do have a BMW 525 wagon also right here, drive 96. Okay. So, Thank you so much. You're welcome. I um, do have an Accord wagon also. I actually want to look at the GTR if you don't mind. Okay. If someone can help me out with that real quick. That's cool. Thank you so much for taking the time to walk me through this. No Mint Auto Sales. I stumbled upon it. Didn't even know it was here. So, thank you. Don't make him fall in love. I'm not. I actually tried to talk him out of it. He, you know what? No state I, inspections in Florida. You got to be aware. That's what I, we were just talking about. You know, I got to give um, some props or respect because uh, he's been very honest. He said to me, don't buy it. This is my retirement job. I don't do this for the money. I do it so my wife doesn't kill me. <laughs> so you get out of the house. I'm, Holy moly. I wasn't expecting those under there. I've thrown an avian out airline captain for 21 years. So. Wow. I was not expecting to see two turbos under there. Jeez. Is it warmed up? Give it a little bit. Two thousand eleven GTR. Any idea the mileage? Forty eight thousand. Price? Not too sure. Not too sure. Florida is there's no state inspections so cars can literally go their entire lives with no repairs no maintenance and you don't know because they never get checked out so you got to get your cars checked out prior to purchase imagine I came to Mecham auction Orlando and I leave with a GTR from somewhere else completely different the problem is they're asking 68,000 which is retail for this car I can't pay retail on cars. If you follow me, you know I'm in the business to buy and sell things for profit. I can't buy this car and enjoy it and then sell it, hope to sell it for what I own it for. There's no point in that. So I gotta pay under retail because everything I sell is under retail as well. That's how I move things. I buy them wholesale and I sell them just above wholesale but below retail and I can make a profit and someone can still get a good price on it and I can move along. I can't add this to my Ferrari flip even though I would like to if I'm not gonna make any money on it because it's gonna make no progress to the Ferrari flip.